Free twerps. Sussex is insulted most as Queen ignores this demand, only removing titles not enough. The Queen could have a more insulting plan for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry instead of removing their titles for cashing in on the royal family in the US, a royal expert has claimed. Harry and Meghan brazenly attach royal glitter to their bussiness to hack young audiences' attention. Since stepping down as senior royals, Meghan and Harry can no longer carry out royal engagements and also lost their military and royal patronages. They also can't use the word royal in their branding while they carve out a new brand for themselves in the U.S. However, the couple still have their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, with Harry still keeping his Prince title too. Prince Harry and Meghan struggle to hack it with younger audiences as they need their royal connections to give their brand authenticity. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's organization Artool needs its royal connections in order to give them kudos as a brand, says the royal expert. Artool will struggle to become unique and relatable to younger audiences if it doesn't have any royal glitter attached. Despite this, they have sparked outrage among royal fans for still making money off the royal name by repeatedly bashing the monarchy in their recent interviews, prompting calls for the Queen to remove their remaining titles. But royal expert Ingrid Seward believes Her Majesty would rather ignore them than give them more ammunition to criticize the monarchy. She told, I don't think removing the titles would make much difference and it would look very petty. I also don't think it is something the Queen would want to do at this stage of her reign. It would be far more insulting just to ignore them. Even excluding them from the Jubilee next year gives them ammunition to criticize the monarchy. Royal law author Pauline McLaren told Us Weekly, Harry and Meghan have escaped their, royal family, control, yet Harry and Meghan need their royal connections to really give them kudos as a brand. I think if they don't have that royal glitter as it were, around their brand, I don't think there's much that's going to make them unique. The woke side won't really hack it with younger audiences who already talk a little bit about whether that's superficial and whether it's really genuine. Back in January, the Queen stripped Meghan and Harry of their HRH titles after they officially cut ties with the monarchy. This means Harry no longer holds his military titles including the Royal Marines, RAF Honington, Royal Navy small ships, and diving. He is also no longer the patron of England rugby. Meghan also lost her patronages with the Royal National Theatre and the Association of Commonwealth Universities. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said at the time, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have confirmed to Her Majesty the Queen that they will not be returning as working members of the royal family. A spokesperson for the couple said, as evidenced by their work over the past year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex remain committed to their duty and service to the UK and around the world, and have offered their continued support to the organizations they have represented regardless of official role. We can all live a life of service. Service is universal. Pauline McLaren had previously said that the couple were trying to create a rebel royal brand. Pauline also said, I think the one thing that's come out of this, is that they have fairly successfully launched their brand as a kind of rebel royal brand. The underdog narrative that they put across is a very well-trodden narrative that succeeds very much for brands in contemporary consumer culture. Meghan and Harry also spoke about the royal titles during their bombshell interview with Oprah in March. Meghan said Archie was not given a royal title, which meant he would no longer receive taxpayer-funded security. Meghan also said in the interview she did not care about all the grandeur surrounding this stuff. She added, the most important title I'll ever have is mom.